Eagles Nation, YouTube Nation, LDX here with another victory video. I have to admit, y'all, I have to admit, I thought that we didn't have a chance against the New England Patriots. It's not just me, it's other Eagles, some Eagles fans too, along with other Philadelphia sports talk show hosts, also don't think so. You have Fox Sports, you have... um. ESPN, NFL Network, all picking the New England Patriots to beat my Philadelphia Eagles. Guess what? It didn't happen. And you know what? I'm so proud of my birds. I'm so proud of them. You prove every last one of them wrong. And, and we shocked the world. It's, it's like Buster Douglas beat out Mike Tyson. It shocked the entire world. And now the Philadelphia Eagles did the same thing to New England today. Tom Brady just got sacked so many times. Put pressure. That's what I'm talking about. And you know what? I had to admit this, guys. For the first time in my life, it's great to be an Eagles fan. I bleed green for life. I've been an Eagles fan since 1992. Some people are already questioning my fanhood. You know who I'm talking about. But I'm going to tell you like this. I've been red, wearing Eagles colors so every Sunday. I've been green for life since 1992. And I love my birds. Now take that. Anyway, let's move on to this. Tom Brady, you got you got your you ate your own grass tonight. How does it taste? Salty or sweet? <laughs> yeah. And I tell you like this. It doesn't matter if they got grunk or not. We're the, we're the, we're so, it's okay to call us underdogs. Because guess what? At the end of the day, it ain't about, it ain't about who's picking who from other commentators. It's about... Who's the best today? Everybody, everybody, even Las Vegas picked the New England Patriots to beat the Philadelphia Eagles. My birds. <laughs> but you know what? We proved them wrong. Take that, Fox Sports. Take that, NFL Network. Take that, ESPN, NFL Countdown. Take all of that. We shocked the world. And by the way, we want our Super Bowl trophy back. The way you, the way you stole it in 2004. The way you cheat your way to win to Super, Super Bowl in 2004. We want that, we want that Super Bowl, Super Bowl uh, crown back. But anyway, I'm getting my hats off to the defensive line. The entire defensive line. That's right. Fletcher Cox, Benny Logan, all the defensive line went after Tom Brady. And I told you once again, in my opinion, Tom Brady may be the greatest quarterback in, in, by paper, the greatest quarterback in NFL history, but he wasn't great today, was he? And that's what I'm talking about. And yes, last video that I've done, I I I thought that the that Tom Brady and the New England Patriots just gonna destroy our secondary. But guess what? We came in Foxborough, and we have a shock for Tom Brady and the New England team and the Patriots team. We put pressure on Tom Brady. Major pressure. The defense has done an excellent job. And you know what? Darren Sproles is the man in Philly. He he did what anybody else couldn't do. Sam Bradford did good. I give him props for that. And what and um uh, Jordan Matthews and Josh Huff, you guys did exact um did an excellent job. And I'm very proud of you guys. We shocked the world today. Everybody, Philadelphia. Uh, talk show hosts, Philadelphia sports talk show hosts, like Mike Missinelli, like uh, 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 oh, Anthony Gargano, oh, uh, uh, who else, who else they vote against the Eagles? Everybody said that the Eagles would never beat the New England Patriots. 
everybody. But guess what? They're wrong. So hats off to the Eagles team today. Um, we snapped the three-game losing streak. I'm very, very proud of you guys. You came out. Everybody didn't think we are going to beat New England except you guys. I'm talking the Philadelphia Eagles team. Y'all came as a team. Y'all beat the daylights on the New England as a team. And you know what? I'm very proud of you guys. Y'all showed mad heart. And y'all didn't give up. Everybody, I'm telling you. Everybody thought that the Eagles going to bow down because they're New England Patriots. Because of Tom Brady. Because of I mean, Coach Bill Belichick. Well, you know what? Y y'all can call us underdogs, and you know what? We like calling us underdogs because yes, we we I mean we messed up in the last three games, and I had to admit again, I was frightened that Tom Brady might destroy our team, destroy the entire secondary. But guess what? The defense proved us wrong. They came out to play the game. They didn't care about what Mike Missinelli says. They didn't care about what um, um, uh, um, Mike and Ike and them say. They don't care about that. They don't care about what the outside Philly sports media says. They, they, they decided as a team to say, you know what? We're going to go out there. We're going to embarrass Tom Brady. We're going to sack him, make, make him run around until he can't run no more. And that's exactly what they did. And that's how you play the game. Now, let's move on. Go Birds. I'm proud of you. You did your thing today. Next week, we'll be at home playing against the Buffalo Bills. If they do the same thing like they did today, beating up Tom Brady, put pressure on them, we're in great shape. Keep keep on winning, baby. So, guys, let me get let me go. I'm very proud of you. Go Eagles, go Birds, Bird Nation for life, bleed green for life. And I talk to you next talk to you next week. E A G L E S Eagles. This is LDX, the spiritual leader of Eagles Nation, signing off. One. How about that? How about E how about your grass? How about the grass, Tom Brady? How's it how's it taste? Tastes good, isn't it? <laughs> go Birds, baby.